Hello, I'm Jason with scienceandmath.com. Today we're going to continue working with fractions, but we're going to in fact review something that you've probably seen in your earlier studies, and that is the concept of what we call an improper fraction. So we've done a lot of groundwork so far with talking about fractions, talking about what they represent and how to kind of work with them a little bit. And uh, we specifically said that fractions most of the time are really used to describe when we have something less than one, when we have a, a fractional part of some whole object, right? So in this section, we're talking about improper fractions. And let me ask you a question. What do you think the word improper means? Well, it means something that's not quite right or something that's not quite appropriate or something like that. And so when you have an improper fraction, it's a fraction that looks a little bit odd, frankly, is what it really means. And so let's go ahead and write down what an improper fraction is, and then we'll give you some examples so that you can identify them. So here we have an improper fraction. It's a very simple definition. An improper fraction has a larger numerator than denominator. And I know that that seems a little bit weird, but let's just dive into it and see if we can figure out why improper fractions are kind of neat. All right, so let's take a, uh, an example of something that's not improper, for instance, just to kind of get started. Let's look at a regular old fraction. This is not an improper fraction. This is a regular old fraction of something that we have looked at time and time again, and this is the fraction one half. And we've done this enough times, but just to quickly review, what this means is you take an object, let's say we have a candy bar here, and we cut it into two pieces because that's the bottom number, and then we take this candy bar and we only actually have one of the pieces, or let's say we give one away, and in that case we would have given away one half of the candy bar, and this is a regular fraction. Now let's say, what if we have a fraction that looks something like this? 3 over 2. The way you say this is 3 halves. So here we have 1 half, that means 1 out of 2 pieces. And here we have 3 halves. So this is what we call an improper fraction because it has a larger numerator, that means top number, than the denominator, that means the bottom number. So the numerator, the top of the fraction, is actually bigger or larger than the bottom of the fraction. So it's a little bit improper. Most fractions that we see aren't like that. Most of them are like one half or two thirds or three fourths where the top number is always smaller. So then you have to ask yourself, right, what does this mean if I have three halves of something? I mean, I understand if I take one half of a pizza, I take the pizza, I cut it into two pieces, and then I give one piece to my friend, and then I say I've given him one half of that pizza. But what does it mean when I have something over two, but the top number is actually bigger than the bottom number? It doesn't seem to make a lot of sense at first. All right, let's draw a picture and see if we can understand what this actually means. When you have the number three halves, you're still looking at it in the same way. The first thing you do is you look at the bottom number. So let's take a candy bar again. Let's just make sure it's the same size as the one that we had before, roughly, just so we can kind of compare them. So we have a candy bar, let's say, and we cut it into two pieces. So let's go ahead and cut this guy into two pieces again. Now in the top example, this means that we have only one half. So we only actually had one.